The Car 98 is going to be one shot at any range. The way they've been doing things, I thought it was going to be one shot at maybe 10 meters, and I've been voicing it like crazy. However, in the patch notes, which I'm going to show you right now, it proves that it's going to be one shot at any range. Otherwise, it's strictly false advertisement, and that is a suable offense. So let's get into these patch notes. If you notice, we're going to get unlimited tax sprint in the big BR map. We're going to get specialists in the big BR map. We're going to get some more vehicles, some in-game events in the big BR map that's going to be coming up, and that's going to be super cool. One thing that's cool is we are getting an SMG. We are getting the car 98, and we'll loop around and talk about that here in a minute. Another thing that I noticed here is we're going to get a new vehicle that's sponsored. So this vehicle here is probably going to be just as OP as the Hummer. It's not going to be electric, and you're going to be able to hear it, but I think it's going to drive pretty quickly. You can get sniped out of it pretty easily, I would imagine. I know I'm a sniper, and if I want to be using the Car 98 in Season 4, I want to be sniping people out of that car, just like we were in Verdansk War Zone 1. Oh my goodness. I, I swear, I just think about it, and I get all bubbly. Find out what this tech is, and you've seen it. What the hell is that? With all this excitement, I almost forgot to ask you to like and subscribe. Paris! Paris! Mon ami! Woo! So far, I haven't seen much. Right? We got rebirth. We know that. Woo, there's that buggy right there that I want to be sniping people out of, boy. Be ready for anything. That was a bit underwhelming. Season 4 ranked play. I know everyone was excited to get ranked in the big BR map, but it doesn't seem as though that we're going to be getting ranked play in the big BR map. It's going to remain on Rebirth, which for me is kind of pointless in my personal opinion i don't enjoy ranked on such a small map it just doesn't make sense to me and the fact that it's resurgence kind of takes all of the competitiveness away from it in my personal opinion core 6v6 map so we're going to get some more maps for multiplayer oh i do remember this map though man I, I like this map though i'm gonna enjoy playing this map again this looks something like straight out of hades but that should be interesting so that's another map for you in multiplayer bunch of multiplayer maps multiplayer maps gonna have some more camos for the weapons cool cool specialty camos okay so urgentstan gulag update launch so we are getting a bit of a different gulag in the new season i know it's supposed to have like some different shapes yeah this is what i was thinking of right here this s shape gulag right so you have like plywood on either side and then you have this weird s shape in the middle which is new and it should be interesting i'm I'm not, I'm not hating on that too much. Um, I don't hate the current gulag as we have it now with the glory hole. But I mean, if it's got S curves, hey, I'm about that too. But uh, let's see, this is another variant of the gulag. This uh, is not much of a big difference, but it looks like this thing will actually like change shape. It looks dynamic. I could be wrong, but it looks like the gulag is like dynamic. If you notice how here, it's like missing walls. Here, it's got more walls. And then here, it's completely an S shape. And here, there's no walls at all in the center. Gulag three, yeah, you see gulag three, gulag like two so additional gulag solos have opened up during urgentstan battle royale matches and recon teams have confirmed for different variants see there you go expect to randomly drop into one of them offering you new ways to approach your 1v1 duel or redeployment so that's cool that's basically what that is so gulag s so stacked equipment and l-shaped plywood walls with an s-shaped central wall over the circular floor area gulag 2 a three panel curved wall stacked equipment against two walled sections and two curved inner walls above the circular floor rate so you know i i guess we don't get the glory hole anymore so i guess you're not going to be able to zip up anymore into the glory hole oh that's on that's that's upsetting i missed the glory i'm gonna miss the glory hole i like the glory hole oh wait a minute maybe not i see it over here in this top right corner maybe it's maybe it's still a glory hole gulag three stacked equipment against two walls sections with concrete 
L shape. So you won't be able to wall bang that, I would assume. Walls around the central circle floor, great. So we're getting three variants of gulags. It's gonna be a bit dynamic and we don't know for sure if we're going to get a glory hole or not. So gulag A, a rectangular concrete barrier wall outside long central section around the central circular floor, great with one plywood wall separating with a blue eight. Okay, so that's the blue eight there. And then all the cement walls and then the circular center. Should be interesting. I'm that 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 looks cool. I'm getting excited. I don't know about you, but I'm getting excited. Earn enough cash to redeploy automatically. Last team standing wins. So they're bringing back something back from Warzone 1, which was a buyback solos. And it's going to make the game more dynamic, a lot more fun, and lobbies are not going to die out as quickly if you're playing solos. You will drop in, I'm assuming, with either three or 4,000, and you can choose to keep that money or get your weapons faster. And that is a tough choice. Basically, if you have enough money, it's going to either be 3,000 or 4,000. If you have that when you are eliminated, then you'll just come right back. So that's good. I, I like that. I'm glad they're bringing that back. And here's the buggy. So this is cool. What this reminds me of is the buggy in Warzone 1. Remember the buggy in Warzone 1? This looks exactly like that buggy in Warzone 1. It's supposed to be faster. And since it is like the Hummer and it's like a promotion for Polaris, like the Hummer is a promotion for Hummer, this will probably be one of the best vehicles in the game. So you're gonna have this and the Hummer. This thing's fast. The only thing is with this, it's not electric from what I can tell. So. With the Hummer, you can sneak up on people because it's electric and you don't hear it coming. With this, you'll probably hear it loud, just like the other buggy that we currently have. This should be cool. I want to use it and I can't wait to snipe people out of it with the car 98. Woo oh my goodness, I'm getting all giddy just thinking about it. Designated points of interest on the map may identify as loot hot zones. Hey, this is cool. This is going to make the game more exciting. This to me has a superstore vibe to it. So there's going to be more loot in these zones and I guess they're gonna be marked on the map. So you're gonna have a lot more people dropping in there, kind of like the cash grabs at the beginning of your Warzone match. So you're gonna have to drop in and fight for all that hot loot. Rebirth Island map update chemical store units. So we're gonna have a ship just like you got on Vondle apparently is what that is. They're bringing that over to Rebirth. Again, look what they're showcasing is the beautiful car 98. Oh my God, dude. I am so happy right now. You guys don't understand. If, if they break my heart with this, bro, I'm quitting Warzone forever. I swear to God, but keep watching because it's one shot at all ranges, by the way, chat. Oof, Ooh, look at that. Additional mid-season content and more. Dude, they're putting a lot of emphasis on this car 98, bro. All right, so here's one of the first weapons. So we have a new SMG here, and I think this is supposed to rival something like the MP5, but I've said that before and I've kind of been wrong, but not really. But so we have this here, submachine gun, launch battle pass sector six levels at 21 so that's not that bad but 21 levels isn't bad you'll fit that real quick battle pass blueprint uh sector 20 so you first need to unlock it or just want to drop it for you and then start leveling it up it's a pistol not an smg this pistol caliber carbine mechanics and 4.6 times 30 millimeter is designed to give impressive stopping power with a skeletal design so it's supposed to be light you're supposed to be able to move quick Lightweight frame, exceptionally adaptable. This weapon can be modified to excel in most combat scenarios. As you would expect, given the size of the caliber, the Supreme 46 is impressively impactful at closer range with 30 rounds. That's not a lot in the chamber and 90 in the reserve. However, this SMG offers accuracy to mid range and above average recoil control delivering particularly as well as the firepower you need for most circumstances. So basically we want to unlock this and we want to unlock the next thing, which is the car 98. And I think they will pair wonderfully together like the MP5 and the car 98 from Warzone 1. <sighs> Anyways, look at this beauty. Look at this beauty. Look at it, chat. So what's interesting is they were saying it's supposed to be the car 98 from Vanguard. But you and I both know the way this one looks is the car 98 from Modern Warfare 2019. However, let's read below. This modernized version of the Modern Warfare 2 bolt action rifle is powerful and accurate, high damage output with a slow rate of fire. It's slow, it's the car 98. Okay, no problem, we expect that. Last seen in Call of Duty Vanguard and found in the Modern Warfare 3 marksman rifle loadout, 
that's all negative right there. Like that's kind of all negative, right? But let's see. And the rifle loadout category after unlocking it in the battle pass. This archaic looking rifle with only five rounds before a reload and 10 rounds in reserve may get overlooked by the uninitiated. Veteran players, that's you and me from Verdansk, where we were born and raised. Veteran players, however, know this weapon is arguably the hardest hitting and accurate long range rifle there is offering quick ADS speed, massive damage, limited flinch, small bullet, functional iron sight, and rapid takedown potential. And guys, pause for effect. Rapid takedown potential. No matter how far away your foe is. Now, I don't like this word potential. Rapid takedown potential. No matter how far away your foe is. That's telling me it's one shot at any range. That's what I believe when I read that. Or is it all fluff? This is what irks me, man. Like Call of Duty, whoever's running this, you know how badly your community wants the Car 98 from when it was first used from said veterans that you just mentioned right there in your text. You just said it, the veterans know the weapon. So with that information, if you don't make this rifle one shot, bro, at range, at least 150 meters, at least 150 meters. I'm not saying a thousand meters, but 150 meters. Come on, that's fair. I swear if you guys make this weapon one shot at like 70 meters, 50 meters, what's the point of even giving all this fluff? What's the point of even giving us this text right here that we read to your base, to your fan base, to the Call of Duty community? Why would you even put that in there and this thing not be one shot? Tell me what you think, guys. Comment. I want to know what everyone's thinking about this. If you're as passionate as I am about how this is with the Car 98, all their stuff they're doing with sniper rifles, if they do this, if they put all of this text here saying this juicy stuff and it not be one shot like we know and love it to be, Oh, it can't just be me. Tell me it's not just me. If you guys want the car 98 to be one shot, comment one shot car in the comments. Oh my God. I am super excited just with those texts, how they word it, everything they're saying there. But I've been let down before. So, oh my God. I don't know what to think about it, except for I'm reading their text. And with anyone with the with their right mind would know that to be, oh, it's one shot. And oh, you wouldn't screw over your community, your veterans that know of the car 98 and destroyed their KD learning how to use the car 98. That would be me. I'm the one that destroyed my KD. So surely they wouldn't do that, right? Oh my God, bro. This is something I've been talking so much mess about, man, since I heard of the car 98 coming back. But anyway, so that's that. Guys, you make of that what you will for the car 98. What do you think, man? Is it gonna be one shot? I don't know. I'm like 80% positive, but we'll see.